Welcome to Meals in Moments, where I discover how to cook my guests' favourite recipe and find out why they think it's so special. Across the series, we'll be getting some great ideas from some well-known faces for simple and delicious meals that could be cooked up in no time. Today's guest is an actor and an award-winning comedian who starred in the hugely successful Cold Feet, comedy series The Fast Show, and regularly pops up on Coronation Street. It's John Thompson. So, first time I remember meeting you was you, Coogan, Carolina Hearn, and Henry Normal sitting in my restaurant for hours, spending no money, writing. It was always Steve's idea because he sort of felt this sort of need, I think because of his, his other extracurricular uh, activities, that, that some vegetarian food might cleanse him. <laughs> so... But you used to eat loads. You used to, used to be in an, an awful lot of the time, and then, you know, over the years, you and I have become, have become mates. I've seen your restaurant grow in size. Yeah. And my wife hates you because you, the uh, ladies' clothing shop's gone now. <laughs> You've took it over. <laughs> Today it's John's turn to cook the meal, and I can't wait, because he's going to make his delicious seared scallops with ginger, spring onions and vermicelli noodles. Now, as you've got skills, yes. could you chop these? How would you like them? Um, I'd just go jung, 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 okay. you know. How far down would you like me to go? Where it starts branching off, yeah? Fine, OK. OK. We'll Where did your love of cooking come from? Well, you don't learn to cook until you get yourself a girlfriend, really. <laughs> Although I did experiment. <laughs> I had a flat, a bed sit on Old Lansdowne Road in Didsbury. Yeah. And Carolina Hearn said once in her stand up, hey, you never guess why. I went to John Thompson's house the other day and he's lost the plot. He was only steaming vegetables in a bamboo basket. <laughs> and I went, yeah, it's true, actually. <laughs> when I was 21, my mum and dad said, where do you want to go and eat? And I said, Thai. Uh -huh. And they went, have you ever had it before? And I went, no, but I'm going. And I'd never had it. And it was just, Thai is my favourite food. Did you always know that you wanted to act? Well, I went to drama school, and to get my equity card, I did stand-up. Yeah. And then I had my big break with Spitting Image while I was still a student. So whose voice were you in Spitting Image? There's certain ones that everyone could... Everybody could do John Major. Cos you yeah. just say to someone, do a comedy voice, and they go, hello, here's yeah. my comedy voice. And that, funnily that enough, was, was our Major. Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah. I, everybody did Douglas Heard. <laughs> <laughs> everybody did him. So who fancies doing Douglas and you go, I'll have a go. But the thing is, everyone will be like that. <coughs> <laughs> Chopped vegetables and spices are an essential base for any good stir fry. We're chopping spring onions, root ginger, garlic and red and green chilies. And for John's Thai recipe, there's a lot to chop. I suppose one of the things that lots of people know you for was cold feet, which was massive. Yes, that was the biggest thing I've done. The best thing I've done as well. I mean, it was incredible, brilliantly written, the characters were fantastic, it was dead believable. Did you audition for that or did, you, did they approach you? Which well, do you know, I was really lucky. I did a show called The Perfect Match, yeah. written by Mike Bullen, and then Mike had written Cold Feet, and I was cast already from that. That was my audition, doing that part. Mm -hmm. So I was already in place, and then the, the rest of the team were assembled like that. But I got to sort of, like, have a say in who played my wife. <laughs> I didn't pick Faye. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the chopped root ginger, spring onions, garlic and chilies are fried in a very hot wok with a touch of ground nut oil. John makes sure he keeps on stirring so his delicate ingredients don't get burned. Next, he adds the shelled and chopped tiger prawns whilst I prep and oil the scallops. For this quick and easy stir-fry, John is using fresh scallops and prawns, but frozen ones will work just as well. Now for the vermicelli noodles. I might not put all that in, that's about right. I like the noodles fresh, but you can bite dried. Yeah. And these will soften up, they're a bit stiff at first. It smells lovely. It smells great. Yeah. Now the scallops can go on now. Okie dokie. I might have put just a little bit too much um, oil in. That's the only thing we take away, is a bit swimming sometimes. Yeah. But do you know what? I, I like a dirty uh -huh. sort of takeaway. You know when they do fried rice and it's white but with a bit of egg and a bit of rubbery chicken in? But no, when it's been in a wok, it's been like everything else has been in it. I like that. That's what I like. Dirty rice. Egg fried rice is an Asian classic and really easy to make. Just pour some oil into a very hot wok then add beaten eggs and swirl them around. As soon as they start to cook, break them up with a spatula. Add some peas, rice and soy sauce and simply serve. OK, so your scallops are looking beautiful. Lovely. Now, the oyster sauce, I like to use the darker variety. 
it's like the difference between dark and light soy sauce. I like the dark ones because the flavor's nicer. Yeah. And they're not too sweet, you know. Okay, I'm done. I'm done I'm, here. I'm scalloped done. Just getting it all, getting that sauce right. I think this is direct from Thompson Towers. Well, I invent, this is not from a book. This is me. I'm, yeah. This is one of mine. So that's, there we get some prawns. A little bit more. Okay. And, and then those on the top. I have both chopped and leaf coriander for you, oh. Mr. Thompson, whatever you require. Do you know, oh, you, you devil. I think a little bit of this, that, that's nicely, nicely. Just a little. Lovely. And there you go. Beautiful, that's fantastic. It. So John seared scallops with ginger, spring onions and vermicelli noodles couldn't be simpler. First, heat some ground nut oil in a very hot wok, then add the chopped root ginger, garlic, chilies and spring onions. Next, throw in the shelled prawns, tossing them the whole time. Add the noodles and oyster sauce, which will bring together all the lovely flavours. Griddle the oiled scallops for a minute on each side till tender and serve them on top of the vermicelli noodles. Garnish with a touch of coriander and serve. Right, then, this looks delicious. It looks pretty as well. It is pretty. This is absolutely delicious. It's quite sophisticated. Not that I would doubt that on you, but do you know what I mean? It's, it's not... I was thinking stir-fries as being rough heavy, and ready. A bit heavy-handed. Yeah. Yeah. But this isn't... You know, you can taste all the ingredients. You taste the chilli, you taste the ginger, yeah. you taste the spring onion, you taste the garlic, then you've got all the delicious fishy flavour, and then your oyster sauce. I mean, it just needed that. Is this your favourite, then? If I want to get some brownie points, I'd cut the missus this. Well, the thing is, as well, this is a really, really... It's quick. quick it's dead quick. Yeah. I don't know what my dish is if I'm trying to get out of doghouse. I think normally she's just kind of run away and hide. You know what my alley's like. Yeah. Formidable. Mm.